Making it minority success stories. Inspiring personal stories of struggle, triumph, and success from America's small business community. Larry, when would you say you're old enough to start a business? Mm, I don't know. What? Well, how about the time you can vote? Mm -hmm. Or how about by the time you can join the Army? Okay. And I'll tell you in our Secrets of Success segment today, you'll learn more about why it's never too soon to start practicing the habits that can bring you success. Bursting with the energy and optimism of youth. He wants to do it all and to do it before sundown. I was 17 when I started my company. Uh, a lot of people laughed at me, you know, they pointed fingers and I never stopped. So I think if a kid or an older man has an idea, go for it. Energy and bravado. These are the words people use to describe Michael Rojas, although he himself would add the word hungry. And that, he believes, is what gives him the edge. Well, while other kids were out playing, he was attending business seminars with his dad that helped spawn the idea of Ace Productions, the company he founded while still in his teens. The business manager's upcoming young artist funds their demo albums, shops them around, and sells their contracts to record companies. But Michael Rojas also promotes products and ideas because he believes he can sell anything. Some people laughed at the high school student, but he just laughed all the way to the bank. See, Amara Halindo takes a look at a day in the life of Michael Rojas. Some experts say that one is never too young to begin learning about business. For Michael Rojas, the pride of business ownership came at 17 years of age. But his real yearning to learn about the ins and outs of entrepreneurship began when he was only 12 years old. Basically, I seen a lot of kids in my neighborhood and they would always be in trouble and always in, in, into fights and uh, getting suspended. And I always thought I wanted to be like my father and my family. Um, I wanted to make a difference, you know, so I wanted to learn about business and marketing. You were 17 years old when you started Ace Productions. How did you do it? I asked my mother for my own phone line. And uh, I got my own phone line and I got my stationery going, my business cards, my, my letterheads, my typewriter. And uh, I started picking up a phone and uh, started making phone calls, getting familiar with uh, the community, businesses around my, uh, my house. And um, I just got popular like that through the kids and then through the word, their words of the mouth. Yeah, Mike is starting his company, you know, you know let's, let's hire him if we want to promote this party and things like that. Tell me about the various services you provide through your company. Well, basically, uh, Ace Productions is a communications, marketing, and promotions company. Um, what we do is um, we get a product or an idea or an artist, and we promote it uh, through uh, via uh, clubs, uh, videos, music, whatever, uh, word of mouth. And uh, that's basically what we do. We have several 900 numbers also. and. Uh, we promote the artist or the product through that venue also. You mentioned that there's power in youth. Explain that. Well, I, I think if you get a 60-year-old person and uh, into a boardroom, I think his experience and knowledge is, is a virtue. But I think if you get uh, someone who's hungry and, and who, wants, who, who wants to make it, who wants to uh, do something different, I think their hunger will sell anything. I understand that business is not your only passion. You are also a musical artist. Tell me about that. Well, basically, when I was 16, I started promoting myself uh, to record companies, and my stage name is uh, Ace. Well, I grew up with music. My father has toured and recorded with artists like Santana, uh, Rolling Stones, uh, El Chicano, Ralphie Pagan, uh, you know, um, Juan Gab Gabriel, uh, you know, people like that. And uh, um, I just was grown, I was just brought up with different type of types of music and um, that's that in my heart that's my love what I'm the most proud about Michael is the combinations of the combination of things that he has accomplished like being able to you know stay in school you know he's pursuing a career uh, uh, he's doing business and he's doing uh, entertainment all, the, all the, this package and uh, you know it's hard to do and, and he has managed to accomplish that Tell me about the business relationship that you formed with the company Sidtech when you were 18 years old. Sidtech is a headwear and uh, clothing uh, company, and uh, there were uh, a new company that I've never heard of before, and uh, I was a new artist. So what I did was I saw the potential there, and uh, one of the things I negotiated, one of the, the terms I negotiated was for Sidtech to uh, fund my company, Ace Productions. 
And uh, what I did was, look, I'll promote you not only through my album and through um, the promotions, I'll get every kid in Los Angeles to know who Sid Tech is. So he handles all my uh, secretarial needs, uh, my computers, my phone, and uh, he basically funds Ace Productions. In return, I promote his company. You obviously have a very busy life with business and currently pursuing a law degree. Tell me about your typical day. Well, a typical day for me is waking up around 5 or 6 in the morning, uh, getting ready for school. Um, after school's over, I come to the office to make a few phone calls, get my messages, see what I have to do. And uh, if time allows me, I go to the recording studio like around 8, and I'm there until like 1 in the morning. And uh, the next day comes along, and uh, another day, the same schedule, basically, school, business, studio. Michael, since you are now a business veteran of four years, what advice do you have for other youth who want to start their own companies? Never let them see you sweat. Uh, never let anyone keep you down from anything. If you want to sell lemonade on, on, on the corner, you sell it. If you want to go to Nike or Reebok, any major company, and you have uh, an idea, sell it. I was 17 when I started my company. Uh, a lot of people laughed at me. You know, they pointed fingers, and I never stopped. So I think if a kid or an older man has an idea, go for it, uh, no matter who's in the way. I think if you're hungry enough, no one can stop you from your dreams. That's a challenge I would love to see many, many more young Americans take up. Oh, yes, absolutely. Well, as Michael grows, so does his revenue. <laughs> One of his latest business ventures is a fan club for himself. <laughs> He's already signed up 3,000 <laughs> kids who pay $20 a piece to be members of his fan club. Quite an accomplishment uh, when you consider that he's never recorded or released a single song. I'd say he's pretty clever. <laughs> he is. Seven seas, the moon above. 